de gros bon sens. When the common sense conservatives fight to fix the budget, stop the crime, and everything else we're doing, this government just continues with its corruption. We have learned that the RCMP is investigating a bribe scam. The police force has revealed that the Liberals stopped the police from accessing documents in the SNC-Lavalin affair. Will this government waive cabinet confidentiality so that the police can get all the facts it needs for this criminal inquiry, the right honorable prime minister? Mr. Speaker, this situation is unacceptable, and that's why the authorities are closely examining this procurement process. Anyone who took advantage of our COVID approach to save Canadians should face the consequences. If they abuse the system, there will be consequences based on what the authorities find. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. That is a non-answer, and it shows once again that this Prime Minister is not worth the cost or the corruption. The question was whether he would allow the RCMP to see cabinet documents. We know that during the other criminal inquiry on one of this Liberal Prime Minister's scandal, he prevented the police from seeing all the documents. I'm speaking about the SNC-Lavalin scandal. Once again, if he really has nothing to hide, will he give all documents, including cabinet documents, to the police? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we can see how much this opposition leader loves personal attacks when he dredges up issues that were completely settled four years ago. We take the Arrive Can issue very seriously. That is why the authorities are carrying out responsible inquiries. And there will be consequences for anyone who took advantage of a situation where we are all trying to help Canadians through a global pandemic. Chef de l'opposition. Well, common sense conservatives fight to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. This prime minister is not worth the cost or corruption. We found yesterday that he, his government is under RCMP investigation again, uh, this time for a rive scam. The commissioner of the RCMP revealed, however, that the last time they were investigating him for criminal activity, he blocked them in the SNC-Lavalin affair from getting cabinet documents. So will he lift cabinet confidentiality and hand over all the documents to the police so that they can investigate any of his potential crimes. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the situation around Arrive Can is obviously unacceptable, which is why authorities are looking into this procurement process. And anyone who took advantage of everything we were doing to try and keep people safe during COVID uh, to get rich uh, will face consequences. That's the way our system works. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. But that's not the, system, the way the system has worked since he took office eight years ago. According to the RCMP Commissioner, he not only refused to be questioned in the SNC-Lavalin criminal investigation uh, and in the Aga Khan Billionaire Island investigation, but he blocked key cabinet documents from being included in those investigations. We now know that an app that was supposed to cost $80,000 went up to $60 million after the NDP helpfully voted for those extra funds. We don't know who criminally benefited from that. So once again, will the Prime Minister waive cabinet confidentiality, turn over all the documents, yes or no? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Leader of the Opposition is digging into the past to try and bring up things that were settled many years ago. But if he really wants to talk about the past, he should talk about the fact that the Conservative leader was at Transport Canada working hand-in-hand -hand with the Minister as the founders of the company involved in uh, Arrive Can uh, were getting millions of dollars in contracts from the department he was working for. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we are taking seriously any concerns around procurement. The authorities are looking into it. There will be consequences for anyone who took care of our COVID protection efforts to get themselves rich. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. That answer proves again that he's not worth the cost or the corruption. We know that after eight years of this Prime Minister, the cost of everything has gone up, in part because he's given away money for nothing. In a Rive scam, an app that was supposed to cost 80000 
was actually how much? 60 million, at least, and counting, because the Auditor General says she doesn't have the documentation to do the full calculation. Today, though, we have a common sense conservative motion that required the Prime Minister release the full cost of the app and recover the money for Canadians within the next 100 days. Will he vote for that common sense motion? Yes or no? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we see the Leader of the Opposition choosing to fling mud on a question that I've said. It's unacceptable. The authorities are looking into it. But he doesn't want to talk about the housing investments that we're making across the country. He doesn't want to talk about the fact that he voted against dental care that seniors are going to be benefiting of uh, from as of May. He doesn't want to talk about child care. He doesn't want to talk about Ukraine. He doesn't want to talk about all the things where Conservatives are out of line with Canadians. We're going to continue focusing on the things that matter to Canadians. Every 